Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. You guys are the stars of Younger. I'm <laughs> so excited for you guys. We're so excited. Season six. I mean, that's season, amazing. Season six. That's a, that's a pretty good track there, especially in today's landscape. Yeah, so, and know. every other show I've done has died of an early death, probably because of me. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> well, you tell us about Younger. All right, Younger. So it's about a woman who decides she wants to go back to her career in publishing after she took a hiatus to have um, a kid. And she finds that um, going back into a job at, at over the age of 40 is very, very difficult. So she's forced to lie about her age and say she's in her 20s, that she's actually a millennial. And that's not me. I'm her, her boss, her, her um, difficult, prickly boss who hires her. And I'm a real-life 26-year-old. Um, uh, I play Lauren Heller, um, Kelsey's best friend, and now Josh and Kelsey's roommate. Uh, <laughs> Just moved right in. Yeah, so it's the show is really about the conundrum about the lie, keeping up the lie, and at this point, I, we feel really lucky that in season six, it's almost no longer about that lie. Yeah. It's really taken a life a life of its own. It's more about the relationships between all yeah. the characters. And now um, Molly's character, Lauren, has um, started working at uh, the publishing firm where Diana Trout, my character, works and where Liza now works. So we're all together, uh, which yeah. is the best. Okay, it's no longer about the lie, but how is it, or the character, does she revisit the lie at any time? Or yeah. when you tell a lie? And there's still a few like people who don't know. We don't know. The char our characters don't know. Okay. But the character knows. Yeah, so yeah. how is it when you tell a lie, the lie is there and you continue on with your life? I don't know. How does that feel? I, I think it snowballs. I think the difficulties yeah. in Liza's life uh, are because she had to start everything off with a pretense that was false. And so, you know, you're always kind of juggling this and you, you've got to keep an eye on it and you're... You're trying to figure out how do I maintain a core sense of truth when I have to also maintain this lie. And something that the writers talk about uh, in regards to Liza is this notion of, is she a liar or is she someone who's lying? Yeah. Um, like, did she, she had to, I mean, she couldn't get a job. On the one hand, I, have, I empathize with her because... Yeah. It's not right that she couldn't get a job simply because she was 40. That's not a, a, a fair thing, you know. So she's doing what she can to work. Who can no, fault her? No, that's not right, but is it right to lie? Exactly. And, and I'm sure these are the complexities that you guys bring in the character. So we've moved on. We know the foundation for the show. All right, so how is her boss and how is the character now? How, <laughs> how they're doing in season six? You know what's great about... Um, Diana Trout and, and Liza's relationship is that it starts out as, I, I, I barely see her. She's a peon in, in my periphery, and I just need an assistant, and she'll do until I fire her. <laughs> and uh, and that's, that's how our relationship starts out. Um, but what has happened over the course of these seasons is that she goes from being an assistant to being, you know, a very necessary assistant to being someone who Diana really confides in to being an actual, true, and very valuable friend to Diana. And I love the depth of that relationship now. It's so important to Diana, and it's important to Liza, and, and it really matters now. And um, I love seeing all of the relationships between these women because they care so deeply, and they really, they really prop each other up. They really help each other out. It's not, there's, it's not about catty infighting. It's about, like, there's complexity to their relationships, but it really is about these women fighting for each other. Yeah, it's my favorite part of the show, that the female relationships are so strong and... They're really about championing yeah. your pals. And your, well, it's yeah. the year of the woman, as they're calling it, I'm sure. I'd love more than one year. <laughs> can we can I want a have lifetime. more than a couple decades, maybe? What did Ruth Bader Ginsburg say? When will, the, um, when will the court be equal? And then she said, when, when, all, of, when all of the justices are women. So there. <laughs> okay, I go that. with that. So when do you guys want us to watch Young Girl on TV Land? On Wednesday? It's on Wednesdays at 10 p.m., 9 central. I think it's fascinating, especially as all the dynamics of women uh, uh, come into play. You know, uh, when women were in the suffrage movement, you know, uh, uh, all these things became a confluence, and you guys are part of that. That's really exciting for you. I think we're, the, the world is having a conversation now that was we've all been having kind of to ourselves, and now we're just deciding it's, we're going to speak much more loudly. 
All right. Well, I will be watching you on, on Younger. You guys follow me. I want my audience. You guys follow it so we can have a great conversation about Younger on TV Land. Thank you, ladies. Thank Good you. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.